Game 5, Panthers, Bruins. One team is looking to close out this series and the other team. Let's just say they're licking for answers right now. They don't even have Stewart anymore. Jeremy Swayman, he's going to get to start once again for the Bruins. Sergey, don't ask me what's in my bottle, Bobrovsky. He's going to get to start for the Cats. The puck is dropped, and we're underway. Here we go. Not even five minutes into the first period. Geeky Morgan's going to collect the puck, pulls it to his backhand, and dekes the absolute shite out of poor Sergey Bobrovsky. We got a one-goal game. And look at everybody's reaction. Nobody was prepared for this. The Panthers included. Jaws, they've been dropped. And who is that? Anyway, a couple of minutes later, it's Bobrovsky. He looks like he's about to run into some trouble again, but he actually receives an early whistle. <whistles> How convenient. The ref's like, don't even worry about it, Bob. I got gotcha. you. But Pat Maroon, no, no, no. He's incensed, okay? Everybody knows he was totally going to bury that one. Yeah, right, Patty. Who are you trying to fool? The first period comes to an end with Florida being heavily outshot and Paul Maurice is beginning to lose his mind. You want to know what he's doing right here at the start of the second period? He's having a roast. He's roasting his entire bitch and this guy's loving every minute of it. Oh yes, the Panthers desperately need a wake-up call and on the very next shift, look at Sam Reinhardt. Wow, man, just putting in the work. He buries one past Swayman and ties this game up at one. But still, it's not looking good. You see, when you keep giving up high danger scoring chances like these, it's only a matter of time before you get burned. Enter Squirrel Cheeks. Oh no, he's about to score his first goal of the playoffs. Look at him. He's got the little Squirrel Cheeks going on. He's got the raccoon eyes. You gotta love it. And he's gonna put one past Bob's glove. However, the drama continues. We got a little bit of a problem here. Keep your eyes on Heinen. He's going hard to the net. The cats are gonna challenge this one. Bob loses his stick, but the problem is supposedly right here. Heinen actually pushes Bob's skate with his stick. You can clearly see his foot go back a little bit, so it all depends on if they feel like he's got enough time to reset and get himself ready for the next shot. Jim must be sweating bullets right now. He's like, no, 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 please. They flip a coin because nobody really knows what goaltender interference is anyway, and boom. Won't you look at that. Heads. Bald heads. Jimmy, the Bruins are back on top. Both goaltenders shut the doors for the remainder of the second period, and now we're going to move on to the third period. We're only a minute in. Squirrel Cheeks is going to be penalized. Just for taking a few chin hairs off of Sam Bennett. Let's go back to the Jimmy cam. <laughs> oh my god, he doesn't like it one bit. Do you ever look at this guy and wonder if he's even real? I swear, Eddie Murphy's playing this guy. Look, he's got a point. There definitely was a bit of embellishing going on during this game, but still, tabernak. It was a two-way street. But we gotta give Jeremy Swayman a lot of credit. He made some big saves during the final 20 minutes, including this huge, huge save on Sam Reinhardt right in the dying seconds. And the Bruins, yeah, they might have clinched their ass cheeks a bit at the end, but they hung on, man. They hung on to force a game six, and, and not gonna lie, it, it does make me sick. It makes me sick. But hey, that's okay. I'm a Habs fan. There's mutual hatred going on both ways here. If we're being honest, as soon as the Bruins crushed the Maple Leafs in Game 7, it was like, we're done here. But you still gotta give credit where credit is due. And Squirrel Cheeks, he was the M. VP last night, in my opinion. The guy's a winner, but that's gonna do it for this game review, guys. You can let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. How do you feel about this goal? Did they get it right? Did they get it wrong? I want to hear all about it. Don't forget to cross-check the like button right in the numbers before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.